We have two ways to separate our video and audio to work with trimming and adjusting things. The first one is to expand our audio, and that's simply for edit trimming purposes. Uh, right click this clip and say expand audio. The other way to do it on this clip, I'll just double click the waveform. And this allows us to be able to do like L and J cuts, be able to just trim our audio separately from our video. As you can see here, I can trim and cool thing is things don't go out of sync and it's easy. I've got my audio component and video component for each one, double click them, close them back up. Now in this clip, I'm going to change it from stereo to dual mono here in the audio configuration. And I'll double click the waveform. We'll see, I still have just one audio lane there, just one audio entity, because this is just for trimming and edit purposes. If I right click and use expand audio components, I'm going to see all of my channels are what Final Cut refers to as components. If I change this back to a stereo pair, well, a stereo pair is just one entity. But if I separate them out in a dual mono for adjusting and trimming, yeah, look, now I can trim each of these channels independently if I wanted to. Now, I'll expand this one. Now, look, if I have four channels and all I'm doing is trimming, that can be a lot of, a lot of work to do simple trimming. The main reason for expanding the components is to give us access to the individual channels or components. For example, dialogue one here, I'll hit R, get my range tool, drag, and I can pull that volume level down there. I'll grab this section of dialogue two and pull its. So I can work on each channel independently. I can also select this channel here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a compressor on it, I'll select the dialogue one channel and I can select them either in the timeline or in the inspector here. But I'm just showing how to work in the timeline. So I'll select that. I'm gonna put an expander on that channel. Now when I select the video channel, I'm gonna go ahead and put a gain filter on it. And notice in the inspector, if I select this top level, here in the inspector or in the timeline, there's my gain filter. I select dialog one in the inspector. It highlights in the timeline. There's my expander. I select dialog two in the timeline, highlights in the inspector. There's my compressor. So that's the difference between expand audio and expand audio components. Depending on specifically what work you wanna do, you'll use one or the other. And they're both very quick very fast, very easy to get to.